Hello and welcome back to another video. So this video here is my first ever spoon carve. Literally first time doing it, first time using all the tools. But I'm filming this now, uh, November 2019. Stick in front of the actual video, which I filmed December 2018 last year. So I do apologize it's taking so long to get this video out. Um, I was waiting on buying some oil uh, for the spoon. I've just not got around to buying it. So I thought, do you know what? It's not the best looking spoon at all. So it doesn't need the oil. I just put the video out there anyway. And I wouldn't expect anything too much. Unfortunately, I tried doing something way too fancy. So it doesn't look good at all because I've never done it before. If I'd gone for something a lot more basic, then it might have looked half decent but there we go so yeah i'm going to play you that clip now so sit back and i hope you enjoy hello and welcome back to another video so as promised today i'm going to film my first attempt at carving a spoon now i've never done it before um yeah i've got my i'm going to use my robin wood spoon carving and hook knife i've never used one before in my life My Mora 106, once again never used. And my Robin Wood carving axe. I've never even used an axe before. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I was meant to do this a while ago. Um, and I just ran out of time, so I couldn't do it. Then I decided I wasn't going to film it because I wanted to just relax and enjoy my first ever carve. And I've been messaging or commenting on a spoon carver's YouTube channel and Instagram. And he said he was going to check out the video. Um, I told him that I was going to carve the spoon and video it before I decided not to. So now I've decided to film it. And why not? It's my journey into bushcraft, my journey into uh, woodworking, so I may as well film the very start of it. So this is by, by no means, it is not a tutorial at all. It's just, I don't even know how I'm going to film it really. I, I probably won't do much talking. Um, I, I don't know all the cuts, um, different um, techniques. I don't know all the terminology of spoon carving. So I'm probably just going to carve it. If I do any, when I do do something wrong, uh, any good criticism is welcome. Let me know what I've done wrong and how I can do it different another time. So here I have a branch cut off my apple tree just over a month ago. And I don't think apple's the best wood to start off with. It's not the softest of woods. I believe um, but it's in my garden the trees coming down so I may as well use it up it's uh, cut it about 22 23 centimeters I want to carve a spoon about 20 centimeters um, I was planning on doing a tangential cut I will show you the cut here so as you can see here on this rough uh, template I've done, this is a tangential uh, spoon where you have the rings inside the bowl. Now I do really like this pattern and I did want to do this one, but apparently as it dries out um, it tends to warp a lot more. So with this being my first spoon I better do the radial cut the radial spoon as you can see here so it's a much stronger spoon you have the lines going all the way through me personally I don't it still looks it's still gonna look really good but I prefer the other pattern but as this one's less likely to warp whilst it's drying out I'm gonna attempt this as my first spoon right so obviously I don't really know what I'm on about too much but 
there's the pith that's you want to get rid of that and sorry I don't know that <laughs> okay I'm going to turn Alexa off try that again so as I was saying there's the pith that you need to get rid of that's a soft bit that's in the center but not necessarily <laughs> in the middle as you can see here these look like a couple of bad bits I haven't got a clue what that is so if I take it from this end I'll put the axe down through there I think and then work with this bit here so here we go probably needed a mallet or something just to help push this down um, what did I say about there it's not gonna work is it okay so that's a little bit harder than I thought it was gonna be um, this is the end result nowhere near perfect I know um, as you just see me attempting to split the wood it was too hard I didn't have a mallet so I attempted to go out and make a mallet so I've now used my axe you've not seen me use my axe sorry um, but the bit of wood that I found was only a little bit thinner than this so it was just going to take forever so I just gave up with that um, I didn't cut the ends very straight so as I was putting it up it wasn't level so in the end I had to get the axe in a little bit and use a great big thick fence post which was quite long and uh, very hard to do so I didn't bother filming any of that so as I said this is the piece that I've ended up with and if I just grab my template then I'm just going to draw that onto there and um, see how we go trying to draw this so you can see it and I'm struggling to see it that'd do some, something like that there's the template I really don't know how this is going to go you know <laughs> you're probably going to be laughing at me now It is nice to be able to hear that sound, I mean you hear it on videos and it's nice to actually be able to hear it for real with me doing it. I know a lot of professional carvers will um, take it right down but I'm not going to do that today. So. I should probably um, saw in some stop gaps actually. That's as close as that's way too close. Don't really want to get much closer than that. I think I might saw in some stop gaps actually. It's a big saw for this, I know. Put this around there.
Well, it's definitely right to put in the stop gap, otherwise I would have definitely gone into that then. Let's try it this way. Ah, uh, yes, that's what I should have done in the first place. I remember now, yeah. <laughs> because obviously the grain changes there, so you can't go all the way down. You need to. Yeah, that was stupid of me, that. You need to turn the spoon to come back down. That is what I was doing wrong. You're probably laughing at me right now. <laughs> I'd be laughing at me too. I should put the crank in it first actually. <laughs> Okay, so what I should have done beforehand, if I could have got it, the block more squared off, it would have been ideal, but I should have done the crank first, so cut into there so that slopes down, and then you, the bowl slopes down into the neck as well. Um, obviously didn't do that, I could do that now, but it's going to be a bit more difficult because it's going to be thin, but I'll give it a go. This is where we learn from our mistakes. We'll have to um, redo the uh, stencil as well. Obviously, I haven't got much to hold on now, onto now. Now it's just gone very, very wonky. not really that straight, still a bit wonky. I'm actually regretting uh, filming this now. <laughs> oh well, let's carry on. Um, it's got a bit of a crank to it.
um, that's by far not straight enough but I think that would do for the axe um, there's nowhere near perfect but a bit too scared to carry on with the axe I'm just going to end up going into the lines so I think I'll have a go with the Mora 106 now Right, I've only got a few minutes of uh, doing this then I've got to go and pick the missus up with uh, with the kids they've just been football training after school so here we are, the Mora 106 this is razor shot this one so let's give it a little, little go where shall I start? Thing is, I don't know all the proper cuts. Um, I don't know what they're called, so I won't go through any of that this time round. After watching this, you probably won't want to watch me trying to carve another spoon again. Thing is, with this is way too much wood left on here from the axe but as it's my first time I'm a bit too scared to carry on with the axe for now Well, that would do, I'd better go and pick them up. I have a lot to learn. Okay, so I've um, picked the kids and the wife up from school. But this is actually three days later. I've been so busy, it's I'm really struggling to find time to do my spoon. But here's what I've done so far. I've um, wrapped it up in a sandwich bag and put, left it in the fridge for three days just to try and keep the moisture in the spoon and as you can see here I've um, stropped my Mora 106 knife um, I didn't use it too much um, three days ago but I thought I may as well just strop it just to make sure it's as sharp as it can be for today so today I'm just going to do a little bit more axing and use the mora a little bit and hopefully use a hook knife to do out the bowl. It's uh, quite difficult doing this for the first time and trying to do it so you lot can also see it as well. It's quite um, difficult to do as it's my first time doing it plus the angles I'm having to hold it are quite awkward as well for you to see. Flatten this out a little bit more. Well, um, got my first little cut. 
I haven't been filming this bit because um, yeah, I'm just trying to get it all a little bit even. And uh, it's because I wasn't holding a knife right. But you learn. So is there anyone that can tell me why this bit of wood just here has gone all funny like that? No matter what I do when I'm cutting it, it just keeps on going like that. Just that little bit, this side was cutting okay. As you can see there, it's just this bit over here. That just keeps on going all, well it's not cutting smooth. So anyone, can anyone tell me? I would much appreciate it, thank you. As you can see, it's nothing to do with a knife. This will cut and fine. So trying to get to this bit here. Okay, so now I'm gonna hollow out the bowl. I'm using the Robin Wood, um, right-handed compound uh, carved knife. So, by the looks of it, you can do quite shallow bowls, or you could do a deep bowl. So if I do that, shallow, deep. So let's give it a go. Um, some people start off like that, and others start off like this. I'll probably start off like this. I'm trying to make sure my thumb's out of the way here. I'm not doing too well am I <laughs> but like I keep on saying this is my first attempt and um, the wood is really hard really was not a good idea using that old branch it's over a month old what I should have done really is um, cut a fresh bit Well, I'm going to carry on with this and then I'll, uh, I'll bring you back. Well, what a difference. Um, this wood is very, very, very dry. Um, just here, as I've been cutting away, I think this was a little bit of a knot. And that, you can feel this moisture in there and it's so much nicer to cut, so much easier to cut than so the rest of this here, which is bone dry. You can hear the difference. What a difference. So I've basically, yeah, I've messed up. The, I've, no excuses for this being a bad spoon, but I have carved that and it has been very, very dry and it's a bit of a hardwood as well, I think, um, apple. So I've not done myself any favours here. But, uh, yeah, I can I can feel what a difference between carving a dry bit and a moist, um, a bit that's moist. So, um, yes, yeah, so I think next time I'm going to cut the branch and carve it straight away. But as I said, no excuses. Um, the spoon wouldn't have been too brilliant anyway, if even if it was, uh, even if the wood did have a lot of moisture still in it. But I'm learning. And I'll uh, finish this one and just see, see what it looks like and then get on with the next one.
At least I'm getting a little bit of wonky shape to it. Okay, so it's uh, starting to resemble a spoon a little bit now. I've carved a bit of the bowl out. It's very, very hard. This this wood is way too dry. I should stop saying that because that's going to be doing your heads in. But it's kind of taken shape. <laughs> 